Missouri has had a great duck season so far. There's nothing quite like getting in a blind with a group of friends when the conditions are just right. Sadly, I know a lot of people, even hunters, that don't like eating duck. Well, they're just not cooking it right. My name's Jason Cleveland with Trophy Properties and Auction. Today we're gonna cook a little pan seared duck and then we're gonna make a pan sauce with the leftover duck fat that's still in the pan. Just like every time we cook the skin on duck, we're going to score the duck so that we can help the duck fat render out of there without spending too much time on the heat to overcook the duck. So let's get in here and start scoring these ducks. Just wanna barely cut the fat, but that helps when you add the heat, it gives the fat a place to get out. Kinda of every half inch or inch across there. There's no right or wrong to it. Now we're gonna add some vegetable oil, and really and truly that's just to get the seasoning to stick to it. So we'll just add a little bit of it on there so that when you season it, the, the salt and the Cajun seasoning sticks to it. I use a lot of Cajun style seasoning on my duck. On this one I'll use some Cajun seasoning and then some just regular kosher salt. I don't want to overpower the sauce and stuff with too much Cajun seasoning. So I'll put the Cajun seasoning on that side and then I'll flip them over, oil the other side and I might just use kosher salt on that side. The back side sometimes you don't have to oil because the meat side stays a little more moist. Grab some kosher salt. We're gonna start off with a, a cold pan right now. Focus on not overcooking the duck. All right, now the pan's up to temperature and we got what's called a jocular sizzle. You can kind of hear that it's a little lower pitch and it's not as rapid. If you, if you turn this up real high, it'd be sizzling real high and higher pitch and the, just really hotter. The skin side, you cook it a lot longer than the, the non-skin side. I'm trying to get all that fat rendered out. You can already see this, how much smaller that fat patch is on there and how it's, it's, it's almost done. It's already crispy. We just want to make sure and get a good crispy skin on there. Got fat on all the edges and corners so it's that much tastier. I, I don't like them to get much over 130. Uh, 135 is fine. Um, and they will keep rising once you take them out of the pan. Just a couple more minutes on this side and we'll pull them off and start making the pan sauce. So you want a couple tablespoons of duck fat at least in there and then we're gonna turn her back on and we're going to cook the garlic and the shallots and let those cook down in the tasty duck fat. The smell of this stuff will uh, kind of take over your house in a good way. So as you're preparing, this meal doesn't take too awfully long to put together. If you have your sides done kind of waiting, you can kind of finish this all up at one time. Everybody gets excited because the smell starts overpowering the whole house. A nice jocular sizzle on the garlic and shallots as well. Should be adding some duck demi-glaze right now. Uh, an easy way for me to add that is some beef consomme. You can't always find duck demi-glaze. Didn't have time to make it today. But you need some broth or demi-glaze or something like that. Now you're gonna deglaze the pan with that. About a cup. I used most of a can of it and then we'll just cook it down. You can turn the heat up a little bit at that point because you're gonna be cooking it down. As that cooks down, we might put red wine or some brandy or you can put a sh shot of whiskey in it but I'll use a little bit of brandy and a little bit of red wine and just put a little of that in there and a little bit of red wine. Next we're going to add a little more acid with, uh, with some lemon. The other thing we're going to do is add a little fig jelly. You can add whatever sweetness, you can do it with honey or different flavors. I find this fig jelly goes really well with what we're pairing it with here. Earthy flavor of everything here. Just stir that in and you can see that it's starting to thicken up a little bit, but we gotta add a, a little bit of butter to finish it up with, which will also thicken it up. And two of my favorite fats are duck fat and butter. We're done with the duck. 
We've made some sides. You can pair it with whatever you want to. Today we've got wild rice and mushrooms and some roasted bro broccoli. We've got the pan sauce done over there, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the duck, cut it perpendicular to the way the breast goes. So you break down any of those long muscle fibers in there. So we'll get that done. It looks cooked perfectly there. We do the same thing we do most of the time with duck, because I just like putting a little lemon on there. And then we'll go put some jazz sauce on it. So it doesn't take a lot of this. There's a lot of deep, rich flavors in this. But again, we're putting some garlic and shallots and duck fat and butter and all kinds of goodness in there. But that's what the finished product looks like. One thing we say a lot around here is feed the family. Food is like hunting. It's an experience best shared with others. We invited some of our friends and local agents over to enjoy this delicious duck recipe. We hope you enjoy it as well and feed the family.